Hello and welcome to the 29th tutorial in the Cocos 2D JS version 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at plain sound effects. If you don't have the source code for the 7th tutorial, don't worry, we'll be using that as the base. But if you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. Cocos 2D JS provides us with loads of useful functionality to play audio. We will take a look at plain sound effects, which are usually small, quick audio files. For example, in the game, when you fire a gun, a shooting sound effect may play. Or when walking, a walking sound effect could play. First of all, we need uh, to add our audio file to our project. So what we're going to do is go to our project, go to resources, the rest. We're going to create a folder, and I'm going to call it sound. You can name it whatever you want, just make sure you appropriately reference it in code. And we're going to place any sound files we have here. So I've already got some files. Here I've got one, I should say, not some. And it's a colloid.wav. Comes to the exports a wide variety of sound files like .org, .wav. So if you want a bit more information, just check out the Cocos 2DX website and their API code. So the next thing that we want to do is open up our resource.js and in here I'm going to add our resource. This is actually necessary but is useful as it allows us to use a keyword aka just something like this to reference a resource and if we need to change the original file maybe we renamed it or maybe we want to change it to something else but we still want it to reference the same way we just have to change it here and it will propagate throughout the code if we've used it several times. So sort of like a hash define you can think of it like that. Okay so what we're going to do is Colloid underscore sound. Again, you can name it whatever you want. This is sort of this is like a variable name. Colon, and we're not going to use folder because there's just going to be a single audio sound effect for every single resolution. Sound for slash colloid dot wav. Now save it, and now what we need to do is open up our app dot js, and now to play our audio, it's really simple, we do cc dot audio engine dot play effect and now what you do is res dot colloid now use capital C I believe colloid underscore sound save it and now to open up our terminal cd to our project directory Cocos run dash p web but before running can make sure volume is at its maximum run our project it's not running so let's inspect the element uh, see if it's got anything that's uh, go back to this collide that sign actually let's also open the resource.js as that can be helpful as well Seem like named it correctly. Let's just go back to here. Yep, seems to be named A OK. Let's just confirm this is spelled correctly. CC dot audio engine dot play effect. That seems A OK. Try putting a comma at the end. I don't think it's this something I'm gonna need to get rid of my history, but just confirm. Okay, yep. Yeah. So I'm gonna go back, undo that. And I'm pretty sure if I Go to my history, clear browsing data, just the cached image in the file, that's all you need. Re refresh. Okay, it loaded up our sprite, so it's getting to this part. But what's it moaning about now? Um, unable to find basically our file. So let's go back to our project directory, we added it to the sound folder, colloid.wav. Let's just copy and paste this to here. We did indeed add it. Don't do need a comma at the end, but let's just try it anyway. For some reason I can't find this file. Well, what we're gonna do is save it and I'm gonna get terminal control C run the command again just in case the file hasn't been copied delete the history refresh okay again it's not working 
Okay, still mine. We can't find the file, so collide.web. Uh, left match URL is sound for slash collide.m4a. Hmm. We have copied it into the right project, then I believe that is the project that we did CD to. Didn't project didn't CD to the other folder, did I? Pretty sure I didn't. Nope, to the right folder. Let's have a look in here, see if it's mentioned anything about Cloyd. Okay, so yeah, it's uh right there, found out, forgot the rev. Or slash refresh our brother. There you go, it's played it, refresh it again. There you go. Uh, I'm not going to edit this in this video in terms of the middle because obviously it's good to see the mistakes I've made and how to overcome them. So obviously I was referencing the sound and the collide.wav, fine, but I forgot to mention res. So what he was trying to look for was, I think he was trying to look for in here, which he wasn't there. So yeah. There you go, that's how you play a sound effect. The next tutorial will cover playing sound effects repeatedly. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video, just directly message us via YouTube. All the recordings for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.